Imagine a summer weekend on a California beach, dense with bodies. But for one onlooker, this seemingly calm scene may be a series of accidents waiting to happen. How does a lifeguard know when a raised arm means I need help, not, hey, this is fun? The guard's skill at spotting that one desperate person among thousands is phenomenal, truly testing his sight and understanding. We see the way we do, so we can spot danger to ourselves. I go. But nothing is threatening the lifeguard. In fact, the eye, Observing a harmless pattern across its view normally relaxes. Motion sensing rod cells switch off when they detect action that's consistent and constant. So the lifeguard has to trick his eyes. He does this by scanning, forcing his eyes to lock onto small details. Our frontline defense are the tower guards, and their job is to scan the water. So their eyes are moving across the water and letting their brain filter out that information that they see, looking for something wrong, looking for that odd one out that truly is in danger. Taking in all this information is hard work. Human sight has only two degrees of detail vision at the center. To check the whole beach, the lifeguard sweeps, jumping from point to point for detail. Each jump is called a saccade. A saccade is the movement that the eyes make together when they're looking directly at one thing and all of a sudden they look at something else. We have mechanisms that wire the muscles that move our eyes to the image and we can quickly lock on to a new image all at once. The saccade function lets him jump visually from each potential risk to the next. He repeatedly scans his field of vision, updating his visual memory every few seconds. But even more is going on as he uses another complex skill, interpretation of detail. Being a seasoned lifeguard, I can recognize the stress victims in the water, whether they look really labored, whether they're comfortable or not by their body language. Those are sort of indicators that allow you to recognize a rescue before it happens. The muscles rotating our eyes give us an astounding breadth of view. Even while perfectly still, we can rotate our eyes from far left to far right in a quarter of a second. So when a riptide suddenly overcomes a swimmer, Drew knows within moments. Now he has to judge whether the swimmer can get back to shore, whether he's too far out for a rescue attempt, or whether despite the riptide, Drew has a chance of reaching him. That split-second call demands an accurate sense of distance. We have two eyes, and they're separated by this distance. And that permits each image to be slightly different than the other image. And that slight dissimilarity gives me a sense of how far away something is. We constantly judge shifting distances, hardly giving the process a thought. But this special process only occurs in humans and other predators for spotting and catching prey. That's the hunting skill the lifeguard uses to home in on the struggling swimmer. We can all find the detail we need in a busy scene when it's for our own safety. 
But when guarding the lives of others, that same skill requires training and intense focus. In day-to-day -day life, we fill in parts of the passing picture. 